My name's uh, John Munson, and uh, I'm uh, obviously a sheriff's deputy, and I'm our uh, master canine trainer uh, for the sheriff's department. I've been uh, I've been on the department for 33 years now, and I've been in canine for uh, just over 28. And my current partner is uh, Canine Bricks. He's a five-year-old Belgian Malinois, and we've been together now mm, four years. Yeah, four years exactly. Uh, He's my sixth dog that I've worked uh, since my time in canine under the department. We're uh, headed to do a suspicious vehicle call. Somebody's called in about a, looks like an El Camino being parked on the side of the road. I don't know if it's dumped, stolen, or what, I just said it looks suspicious. So we're not too far away. We'll go up and see, check the car out and see what's going on with it. Canine uh, Whip a U-turn and come up behind it. Tools, batteries, gas can, bumper. Hmm. Vin's so rusted you can't read it. If there's a plate on the front or not. Nope. Now it doesn't come back stolen, so maybe it's just broke down and somebody just left it here. But it's off the, it's off the road, so it's good. We're, uh, we're going to assist patrol on an unwanted person. Guy's causing a problem at the Dollar Tree in the Goodwill here in the Spanaway area. Sure. What's that? He's left, but he was around here. Okay, all right. He's trying doors to get into stuff and then took out a pack. I thought maybe it was a knife or a yeah, I, I or, a, the, or a needle. It ended up being a, a yeah. They, it ended up they, being like a marker, but he chased me around my know. truck. Oh, it's so we're uh, <laughs> clear of that call. Turns out the transient guy he took off before we got there. Security that we talked to that works the parking lot here said he was gone, and uh, they'll just give us a call if he comes back. Now we're headed to uh, down the street here. Godfather's Pizza's calling in about some transients that are been hanging out in the parking lot all day and are refusing to leave. So we're gonna go down here and see see what's going on, see if we can get them to go. How you doing, sir? What's going on? Oh, are you just hanging out in the parking lot? No, I got a lug nuts thing for Lug nuts or what? I, need them. I don't have a lug wrench. Oh, you don't have a lug wrench? You got a flat tire? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, uh, I've been waiting on my friends to come down. Okay. So. Okay, so once you, get, once you get the lug wrench, you'll be able to get going? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah. No, that's all right. Have a good day. I don't see anybody in that one. Nobody in this one. Sheriff's department. I can't see nothing. No, me neither. Did you call about the cars out there? No. Somebody called this morning. I guess they called like at nine forty-five or something like that. Um, so we talked to the, the one car that's out there. He's got a flat tire. Supposedly a friend is coming to bring a lug wrench so he can change his tire. The other, yeah, the little, um, you, the one in front of my patrol car that you can't see. Yeah, he's waiting on a buddy. The other two cars at the other end down there, they're empty. Nobody's in them. So you guys, if you guys, it's your parking lot. If you guys want to tow them, you could. It's up to you. But So just so you guys know. Okay, guys? I appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Have a good day. So Godfather's called. We checked on a couple of uh, abandoned looking vehicles in their parking lot. One guy's got a flat tire. He's waiting on a, on a buddy to bring him a lug wrench. Uh, and then the other two cars that are parked in the lot, nobody's around. So don't know what they've done. We've given, told the Godfather's that if they need to, they can tow them or whatever they want to do. But uh, that's about it. So we're going to get out of here in just a few. People ask us, well, do you ever let your dog out to take a break? We do. I'll stop. We've got places we stop. We stop at our precincts. We stop at our county shops. Let them get out, take a break, go to the bathroom, run around, play toys for a little bit. Um, so they're not stuck in the car all day long. So one of the most popular questions we get asked and we see comments on social media is if our dogs have bulletproof vests. Um, our dogs do. Bricks has a bulletproof vest. Um, a couple of our new dogs do not have them yet, and the only reason they don't have them yet is we're waiting for them to grow up a little bit. We want them to fill out, muscle up, all of that, get to pretty much their full-grown 
size and weight, and then we'll get uh, vests for them. They are uh, the vests we get are custom made um, for the dogs, so it's important that they're filled out and they're as big as they're going to get before we get them. Bricks wears his bulletproof vest pretty much all the time. If we're just doing a training scenario or something like that, and it's not a big deal, then I might just put his regular harness on. But if it's a real call, a SWAT mission, whatever, he always wears his vest. And then once it's on, I leave it on him the rest of the day. We're headed to uh, back up two patrol guys. Looks like the person might have warrants out of Tacoma. Yeah, why, why is that about? Can I have one detained? There's no problem. So, so we came out here for uh, Tacoma PD. They had probable cause to arrest a female from a domestic violence situation violating a no contact order. Gave us an address where to check. She was here, uh, very cooperative, came out, and gave herself up. And so she's in custody now. And she'll be on her way down to the jail now. We're going to assist uh, one of our patrol guys with an injury accident right up the street here that we're not too far from. See what we can do to help them out. Looks like fire department's there from what I can see already. K910, can I be out with 552? Hi guys. Need anything, Carl? What, just this car? Oh, right here. You got a tow coming yet? No. You want me to call one for you? Okay. We so need a tow to 108th Street South in Ainsworth uh, for an accident. Did you guys even see it happen? Yeah, we yeah. did. Did you guys give um, one of my partners oh, yeah, information? I told him that we didn't. He said it wasn't needed because it was another car. Yeah, I also gave 911 all the info. Oh, yeah. Them. If you guys need to go, you guys can head out. Okay. Right, uh, yeah. Go. Thank you. So it looks like we had a simple uh, two-car accident. Nobody's hurt, fire was here, checked everybody out. We got a tow coming from one of them. The other guy doesn't want his car towed. He's gonna to do something with it. And, uh, patrol guys are gonna handle it. And we're gonna head out. Hey everybody, so sorry the uh, ride along was a little bit slow today. There was no dog work at all, just the system patrol guys. But tonight, it's our Metro Canine Training Night. We're down here at the old cannery in Sumner. They're gracious enough to allow us to use their facility after hours, after they close, which we greatly appreciate. We've got uh, dogs from all over the county and a guest dog from Kitsap County that are here for training. We're going to be doing some different scenarios outside and inside the cannery here in just a little bit. So we'll take you guys along so you can watch. Police, they're going to be searched by a police dog. Need to make self known. Dog finds you, he may bite you. Last chance. Ready? Sigma. Nope. Hey. Sigma. So this is an area search that we've got set up. We've got a quarry that's hidden in one of these semi-trailers here. And uh, how this is going to work is Bricks is going to have to narrow down which trailer he's in. And when he gives me an indication on uh, which one he thinks he's in. If he's right, we'll challenge it and the quarry will make himself known. So what I'm looking for here is uh, some kind of an indication from him, head up, sniffing a trailer, um, barking maybe. So he kind of seems to be circling around this trailer here. Atta boy, that's what we're looking for right there. Atta boy! Is there a bad guy in there? Nope. No, you gotta show me. You gotta show me. Where's he at? Oh, that a boy. That's a good boy. Okay, here, 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 right here, bud. Good boy. All right, suspect in the trailer. We know you're in there. Need to make self known. Knock dogs coming in. That a boy, speak at that guy. Speak at. Oh, that a boy, watch that guy. Where's that bad guy? That a boy, watch that guy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, you know, you got the guy, bud. All done. Hey, good boy, you got that guy. All done. Good boy, you got your toy. Oh, she's a good boy. Yes, you got your toy. You got your toy. Oh, good kids. You found a bad guy. Yes, you found a bad guy. Good boy. All right, that's an area search.
get a hold of Griff. So we've got uh, K-9 Otto from Puyallup PD. He's uh, one of the drug dogs in the county. He's uh, here working a problem right now. There's three training aids that are hidden in here. He's already found one. He's got two more to look for. And, uh, his response when he finds something is he's going to sit down and look at his dad for his reward. And his reward is a, a tug toy of some sort that he gets to play with. Three training aids that they had hidden out for him that he found were uh, cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl. Uh, he found all three without a problem. Hey, I see you. I'm gonna send my dog. Thanks for riding along with Bricks and I today uh, on our ride along. Sorry it wasn't busier, but sometimes that's the way it is here in Pierce County. Uh, and hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the training and uh, hanging out with us tonight while we did that.